The cash keeps on flowing, but is it being spent? Another proposal for $37 million in federal relief dollars could be going to the most needed place in the city, the north side. News for us, Jenna Ray is at City Hall for us tonight. Jenna. In just a few hours here at City Hall, that revitalization for the area you guys mentioned could be in motion. I talked with residents, business owners and community activists today. They say city leaders need to hurry up because pandemic struggles are still lingering. Uh, even a blind person can look at these situations and see what kind of situations we in and how we really need to be financially bailed out. A situation North City resident and business owner Deborah Cresswell knows far too well. Business has been slow. You know, people have been working from home, so that means they don't come in. It's been a struggle. Cresswell's owned Tripe City on Natural Bridge for a decade. The pandemic took a toll on her restaurant, and she says COVID relief funding could help her out in the long run. Man, if I could get a grant, you know, that would be an uplift for me because I could better serve my community. Last week, a Board of Aldermen committee unanimously passed Board Bill 82, a bill that slates $37 million for Northside small businesses, nonprofits, and neighborhood economic economic empowerment. The targeted zone is roughly from Natural Bridge south to MLK, bookended by the city county border I-70. What better use to use these once in a lifetime funds with the once in a lifetime project. Farrakhan Shigogs, a community developer and activist with Young Voices with Action. They're planning to build a mixed use development on Martin Luther King right near the St. Louis County line. A modern um, apartment units up top. Um, um, spacious commercial uh, units down on the bottom and we also foresee that this project bringing into an existence of a thriving economic corridor similar to Del Mar Loop. Both Shigog and Cresswell say they're ready to see city leaders pass final legislation for funding specifically for the north side. To me that the city is willing to invest this money into neighborhoods that have been historically neglected. This is a direct investment in North St. Louis. We are going to get the help. The north side is going to get the help that she promised us. The bill will be voted on by the mayor, comptroller and board president tomorrow afternoon. Now, just a few months ago, the bill was actually stopped and rejected at this exact phase. But if it's passed, it then goes to the full board of aldermen for a final vote. We're live outside City Hall tonight. Jenna Ray, News 4. We'll be watching that one.